minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, and liftoff. Go SpaceX, go IM-1, and the Odysseus Lunar Lander. Vehicle pitching downrange. Stage 1 propulsion is nominal. payload. Now during ascent we tilt the engines, the technical Not term being power gimbling, power. and that turns the rocket horizontally. And that streaming blast of fire up into the skies above Florida. It's 106 in the morning, the Falcon 9 rocket sending what is hoped to be the first private touchdown on the lunar service. This Odysseus Max Q. lander that's looking for water in the craters of eternal darkness down on the lunar south pole. Parts of the moon's surface that get down to minus 230 degrees Celsius. Started. It's hoped yeah. that there are billions of gallons of water which will help to here take us further into space, support space lunar landings in the future and further and space exploration. Thomas, it seems as though everything is going well so far. Very much so, but then SpaceX is pretty good at launching uh, these days. It, it does it several times a week, so, uh, so I, I think we shouldn't be too surprised so far. Uh, about two and a quarter minutes after launch, the, the, the two stages of the rocket will separate. The first stage will come back down to Earth because, of course, the Falcon 9 uh, has a reusable first stage, while the second stage containing the Odysseus spacecraft will continue into orbit. And about 48 minutes after launch, uh, the, the, the spacecraft will be released. Uh, the, that cone at the top that we saw, the white cone, will open up like a clam and, and release the, the spacecraft. And there are brake wires there which will uh, show the spacecraft that it has been released. And there you go, you can see uh, that the, looks like it could be separating there. Um, and that uh, then wakes up the spacecraft. Uh, and then that was the critical stage. If you remember last month, there was the Peregrine mission, which at that point, the, the spacecraft didn't wake up properly. There were problems with the valve uh, and the propellant and so on, causing a massive leak. And that was the end of, of that mission, in, in effect. So uh, hopefully, there's an awful long way to go, uh, but, but so far looking good. Well, as the rocket disappears into the inky night above the United States, we will leave its progress. We'll come back and check in with you, Thomas, in a few minutes' time, a bit later in the programme, to see how things are. We'll chat a bit more about the, the proposals to, to explore the lunar south pole and the various aspects of space exploration, but for the moment, we'll leave it there.